great faith can be found in few men, and in fewer men can greater faith be found than in that of St. Ignatius of Antioch. Before his martyrdom in the days of Roman persecution, he was a disciple of St. John the Apostle. Since he was the Bishop of Antioch, his influence spread far and wide. He was chosen by the Romans to die to set an example for the other Christians. Alban Butler writes in his Lives of the Saints that St. Ignatius once obtained peace for his own flock by fasting and prayer during the prior persecutions. But for his part, he desired to suffer with Christ and to prove himself a perfect disciple. So in the year 107, Trajan came to Antioch and forced the Christians to choose between apostasy and death. Who art thou, poor devil, the emperor said when Ignatius was brought before him. Ignatius answered, Call not him poor devil who bears God within him. And when the emperor questioned him about his meaning, Ignatius explained that he bore in his heart Christ crucified for his sake. Thereupon the emperor condemned him to be torn to pieces by a wild beast at Rome. Saint Ignatius thanked God, who had so honored him, binding him in the chains of Paul, his apostle. He journeyed to Rome, guarded by soldiers, and with no fear except of losing the martyr's crown. He was devoured by lions in the Roman amphitheater. The wild beasts left nothing of his body except a few bones, which were reverently treasured at Antioch. After the martyr's death, several Christians saw him in vision, standing before Christ and interceding for them.